Welcome back to my channel, Mariam here. In today's video, I am going to do a full thorough review of Fenty Beauty's Summer 19 Eyeliner Trios. Riri just blessed us with some new additions to the Fenty Beauty line. All of these gorgeous, colorful liners. So today, I put them to good use. I created this look that you see right here. But wait, wait until the end of the video for the final verdict. I will determine which one of these colorful liners is actually worth your time and your money. So remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell so you can see all of my videos and not just some. Questions, comments down below. And now let's get to it, Riri. Fenty Beauty Liquid Liner Trios Review Tutorial First Impressions and Verdict. Here we come. Okay guys, so Fenty Beauty's Summer 2019 collection is very funky and very bright and it consists of a lot of cool new products, namely these three Vivid Eyeliner Trios, Bake, Baywatch, and Bayside. These are $35 per trio, and there are three shades in each. Now there's also some really cool, bright new lipsticks. I believe these are Poutsicle lipsticks, not to be confused with Mademoiselle. And these are all very colorful. I'm not gonna be talking about these lipsticks in this particular video, because I am gonna do an IGTV swatch video of all the lippies, so head on over to my Instagram if you are interested in seeing that. For today's video, we are sticking strictly to the eyeliners. I'm I'm gonna apply all of these to my eyes. I'm gonna create a look and hopefully I will like this look and I will wear it for the rest of the day. These eyeliner trios are available May 10th online at Fenty Beauty as well as Sephora.com. I gotta tell you, I was really, really excited to learn about these new products because I love colorful eyeliners. I've loved them ever since Lime Crime came out with their unicorn liners. And these, in my opinion, are very, very similar. They're sort of neon, but also have this pastel-y kind of effect to the colors. Let's swatch the first trio. Here is Bayside, the first shade being Papaya Mama. These are supposed to be shaken, not stirred, and applied straight from the tube using the included liner brush. Definitely, definitely very liquidy. Might have to give it another shake. Next one is Lime Fever. All right, give me neon. And the third one from the Bayside Trio is Skinny Dip, which looks like a periwinkle type of blue. Very nice. Okay, next let's swatch Bake, starting with this really pretty pink called Hottie Alert, the white called Wet T-Shirt, and Banana Blaze. The really cool, almost neon, but sort of pastel-y banana yellow. And the final trio of the bunch is Baywatch. Starting with Hala Peño. Hala! Next one is Techno Beat. And the final is Hot Tub Club. I would say Baywatch is probably the brightest and the most vibrant of the three trios. Now that I've swatched all of these and I didn't even need my swatch model for this video, I think I'm ready to apply all of these to my eyes and create some funky fun look. I'm gonna attempt to use all of these colors that are in front of me because I am damn inspired. That is the truth. Of course, I have cat hair in my eyes. What is going on? Starting with Banana Blaze, I am going to line the inner third of my lash line. Wow, this is super duper duper vibrant. And holy moly, I kind of wish this brush was a little bit finer, but that's okay. We will make this work. I'm going to pick up Lime Fever from the Bayside Trio. I'm gonna apply Lime Fever to the center of my lid, overlapping with the previous color. So I do wanna go for a subtle gradient effect. This green is not as opaque as the yellow, but you could layer it and make it work. I think you know where I'm heading. I'm gonna pick up Jalapeno, the darkest green, the most vibrant one, and I'm gonna wing this baby out. Oh yes, that's pretty cool. Okay, so if you want to make this gradient a little bit softer, pick up a little liner brush with cat hair on it, of course, and mix the two shades together, perhaps on your hand, and then just paint it over here, over the border, just to kind of blend this out a bit. Super duper easy. You could do it with the included little ones, but don't really want to mix the colors in the tube. Okay, cool. 
Now that we have this going, I think I am ready to test out some blues. Why not? I am going to add these sporadically to my lower lash line in my Twiggy style, just to create some lash extensions. I'm using Hot Tub Club, which is a really pretty vibrant blue. I'm gonna pick up Skinny Dip, which I like a lot, by the way. It's such a unique periwinkle color. I'm gonna add this one in between, kind of just sporadically, and maybe even line the inner portion of the lower lash line. The cool thing about these liners is that you could even use it to paint your lash so it can in fact double as a mascara, but of course my lashes are super short and I just messed up Meh. Okay, we'll fix that later next. I want to try out the pinks So first I'm gonna pick up papaya mama and I'm gonna line Right above my eye socket kind of like that can't really see this one too much on my skin tone Kind of just like blends in but I think on someone who's much lighter or much darker than me This would be a really cute color just like how it looks right here on this beautiful model. Yes Picking up hottie alert I'm gonna continue painting this color kind of just completing this gradient also gonna place some color on the back of my hand Mix it with the previous one just so I can mix these two colors together right here in the border Can't really see that one either. Hmm. You're definitely gonna be able to see this techno beat though So might have to go a little crazy here I'm gonna wait for techno beat to dry and then I'm just gonna dot a little bit of hottie alert and just smoothly blend that in kind of like that now I'm ready for that white picking up wet t-shirt and oh girl I am worried about this white because usually white liners tend to crack and be super unflattering kind of like that yellow banana blaze is cracking on my lids right now so what I'm gonna do with this is I guess emphasize everything that needs a little sharpening definitely 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 think I need to emphasize this line here because no one can see it oh yeah you know what I'm gonna make this line a little bit more thick kind of like that and now I'm gonna add a little bit more of my twiggies in between these blues just to kind of separate them and give my lower lash line a little bit more meaning that is looking rather bizarre I look like a bird I need lashes but we're getting creative here and we're having fun I'm gonna use this white liner to sharpen underneath my brow arch and I don't know something about this yellow banana blaze is leaving me feeling dissatisfied I need to test this one out again because right now it's just cracking and peeling some kind of bad it's not flattering so I'm adding this yellow to my tear duct extending that shape and just getting creative and connecting it to this lower part. I made sure to wipe off the excess product before I started. Then I'm gonna try to very gently connect it up here to that bad line and make it work. It's definitely looking very whimsical, very Coachella-like. But I gotta say, if you wanna make this type of look a little bit more wearable, you gotta use a black liner. I have my Lancome Grandiose liner here. I'm gonna utilize it just to create some sharpness and some wearability. And also, I wanna test out how these liners wear with regular liners. So here, I'm just gonna create a really tiny wing, just emphasizing the outer corner. All right, you know what? I'm gonna take this liner all the way into the yellow. Just add a really tiny, really thin line of black right along the lash also gonna add just a smidge of black right here and that crease liner just to kind of emphasize it and make it a little bit darker I also want to see what happens if I mess up can I use this color over the black to fix the situation oh yes ma'am indeed you can so now that I'm done with the eyes I think I'm just gonna apply some mascara and perhaps some lashes and I will be back for the final look and for the final reveal of my verdict. Did I not pick the best lashes for this look or what? Okay, proud of myself. I'm wearing Dallas lashes by Low Lashes. I will link them down below for you guys. I love these because these are hairy, but still big, but not covering all the beautimousness. I'm talking a lot because I'm trying to stall this verdict, but I guess the time has come for me to give you guys a verdict. Team Truth style. This summer 2019 collection of liner trios from Fenty Beauty is overall a hit. However, there are definitely some colors and some color combos that I like way more than others. Namely, I am really into this Baywatch trio. I think the colors and the formulas, rather the way that these 
colors work with the formula of these liners just makes them a little bit more superior than the other colors these are not fussy these do not crack peel or apply on evenly i would say these are also the most pigmented the most vibrant out of all the trios baywatch is the one that i would recommend you guys go out and get for yourselves i will say that the white is a pretty decent white considering that white is really difficult to formulate in a liquid liner formula and i will say that i'm also a really Really, really big fan of this periwinkle blue called skinny dip from the base side trio having said that unfortunately I am just not feeling the way that the formula is laying with this yellow and also with this pastel green from the bakay and the Bayside trio you could even see on the back of my hand right here that the yellow and the pastel green are just kind of flaky and kind of cracky and they're not super duper pigmented not like these three here look at that that is just no bueno moreover this peachy shade and this light lavender pinky tone are well they're not really flattering on me i'm sure they will be a lot more flattering on someone who's either much lighter or much darker but for someone who's a medium or tan skin tone these will just not show up but the reason why i say that these are overall a hit for me is because i love colorful liquid liners it just speaks to my artistic side it makes me feel connected to my roots and i'm an artist first before makeup before anything else the fact that you can create a fun funky colorful liner like this on your eyes or you don't even have to use all the colors like i did you could just use one color pair it with black and you're good to go it's so much fun for summer it's so much fun for any season for any occasion and i think it's a really nice way to kind of dress up your eyes and it's much easier than blending eyeshadows for an hour okay so that is my story i am sticking to it i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for watching for subscribing for being awesome i don't know i'm feeling really cheerful you guys let me know what you want to see next check out some of my other videos right here i have tons and tons of fenty reviews you name it I've got it, and I'm here for you guys. I will see you in my next video. Peace out.